I think movies are about telling a story and in many ways decorating is the same thing. It's about creating an environment for a family, a person that really fits their lifestyle and reflects who they are. Factory Girl was our choice of a film for a few reasons. One, Factory Girl featured Edie Sedwick, who was one of Andy Warhol's uh, Factory Girls. Beyond that, I think Factory Girl represents a certain kind of glamour. Heather didn't go back and literally try to capture the glamour of the 60s. She used Edie more as a springboard for how she might live today and capture the glamour of New York and this apartment. We're at 12 12th Fifth Avenue. The developer is Durst Fetner. It's a pre-war building that they've completely gutted and renovated. So it's nice because you feel like you're in a modern apartment, but you have traditional details. When you walk into the apartment, one of the first things that you're struck by is this beautiful wall treatment that Heather did. And I think it's really extraordinary because one, it's this great texture, but two, it has this terrific luminosity that catches the light coming in from the front of the apartment and kind of bounces it around the space. So you feel really light and bright and happy. All the paint in the entire apartment is by Ralph Lauren. I decided to paint everything. I didn't want any wall covering. After we leave the entry, we walk into this beautiful, warm, burnt orange color that's Ralph Lauren paint, it's cork. We wanted to have a lot of texture, metals. We wanted to, to feel like, gee, I want to be in this room. It's an entertaining space. In the daytime, you're flooded with light coming in from Central Park over Fifth Avenue. And then at night, it just glows like a lantern. It's really beautiful. Our tables from Julian Chichester had that same feeling of sparkle and glamour to it. The base is a polished nickel and it's hammered, so you get all that shine. The dining table is absolutely gorgeous. When you stand over it and look down on the beautiful wood surface, it's just, again, like the paint in the room. It's this material that glows and has a sort of inner warmth. On top of that, I selected a very sparkly fixture from Jonathan Adler. It's just wonderful the way you can play with the lighting effect on it. Ultimately, it's like a big starburst above the table. On the table, Heather has mixed a wonderful assortment of pieces. We've got flatware and crystal from Calvin Klein Home, and then we've got these beautiful dishes or plates from Rosenthal. The renovation here at 12 12 Fifth Avenue is really unusual because it's very rare that a developer gets to renovate a whole building all at once. And what's really special about that is that you get to come in and really fix some of the core features of the apartment, like the kitchen. So here we've got this beautiful kitchen with all of the latest technology from this Kohler carbon sink fixture that's just amazing in how much flexibility it gives you to this beautiful Bertazzoni stove. We enter the media room and what we wanted this room to feel like is, wow, I'm at a movie, I'm in a theater, it's dark and cozy. The media room is inspired by all the different images of Edie and Andy and Bob Dylan. They're all black and white. I love the way Heather incorporated this armless uh, sofa into the little niche here on the wall, which almost makes it feel like a built-in. And then on the wall above the sofa, she's used this wonderful paint from Ralph Lauren. It's a suede effect paint that really gives you this wonderful subtle texture. It's like a million dollar look. And then over here is this wonderful chair from American Leather. It's a recliner, if you can believe that. I mean, recliners don't look like they used to. And then I just want to wrap up in here with the floor, which I think this is one of the most beautiful carpets from Karastan. It looks like a hand-woven carpet. The master bedroom, I, I wanted it to be soft. I wanted it to feel romantic. I felt that Edie was a romantic person. We wanted it to feel like Edie really did live here. And so we have some clothing on the bed from Talbots. We have a beautiful Gio Pianti style desk. And I love, love, love the way she introduced color in these lampshades. I think it's a really interesting idea that anybody can do. Most people think lampshades have to be white. They actually don't. Introducing a pair like she did here can really wake up the design. Now we're walking into the second bedroom, which I think is a wonderful space. They're really beautiful, subtle colors. Heather used a gray on the wall and a metallic paint on the ceiling that I think is really wonderful in the cove because it kind of captures the light. And then down on the floor, we've got this amazing carpet from Karastan. It's wall-to-wall -wall carpeting in two colors that Heather took and had pieced into these wide varying width stripes. I like the stripes. I like the fun of it. I, I find it inviting. The bedding is all by Calvin Klein. We've created a headboard from this beautiful Brissoni fabric from, from Italy. And we wanted to create the feeling of fun. So we put a bubble chair in the corner over here. We have a nice mid-century chest, 1950s from Denmark. We put some jewelry up here for some sparkle. 
I like what was done in the bathrooms because they have a sort of a retro quality to them, but they're very modern and contemporary and present. We wanted to create two bathrooms that really had earthy texture to them. Um, again, were contemporary, but were warm and sculptural. One of the things that I love here is this beautiful tile from NSAC Special Collections. The designer chose one tile and used it in a really bold way, and I think that gives a lot of drama and effect very easily. The Cola products as well, the quality, the craftsmanship, really helped tie everything together and create a uniform whole. The thermostatically really controlled temperatures in the shower, the Numi toilet, and then the Roburn medicine cabinet with the built-in television set. This is the Kohler underscore bubble massage tub with, again, electronic controls. Really great, generous, oversized, and surrounded by the really crisp limestone. Here we are in the powder room, again with the Anne Sachs collection tile, the beautiful undulating surface, this time in a celadon green. The Roburn medicine cabinet with the built-in lights, also anti-fog, and the crisp Kohler fixtures. We're going to feature this apartment on our November cover. I think Heather's done an amazing job with taking a new apartment and really giving it a wonderful life and personality. When this comes out in House Beautiful, I think people are going to be like, wow, I'm not afraid of color. And color, it evokes feelings, it evokes emotions. And in this apartment, I feel like you feel peaceful. What's wonderful about doing a project like this uh, between House Beautiful and Designer Vision is that we're able to bring the magazine to life and Heather's done a beautiful job of creating this very glamorous House Beautiful experience.